this new video. Today I want to talk a little bit about these um, SDM32L053 discovery boards from SDM. You can see it a little bit closer here. They have an e-ink display on, on board and are sometimes pretty cheap because uh, they are quite old today. So you can get them. And I just want to show you what I do with them. Okay, so now here is one board. And I have a few of them because they were pretty cheap on sale. I will open one up to show you a little bit about it. And here you can see the e-ink display. It has an onboard ST-Link version 2.1, I think. And also it has an extra microcontroller for IDD um, current measurements from 100 nano ampere up to 100 milliampere. And this, that is the reason I'm making the video today to show you what is possible to do. Um, also we have four capac capacitive sensor touch inputs here and they also can be used as a slider and of course we have some GPIO two onboard LEDs and also a push button and a reset button. One good thing is you can use the SD uh, Link version 2 also with other boards you just have to remove these two jumpers and then you can connect the SVD port to any other project just like uh, ST-Link clone or original one. This chip, the STM32L053, has also uh, USB capabilities, so you can program a keyboard or a flash drive, etc. It has, um, uh, let me think, it has 64K of uh, flash and 8K RAM, and here I have one example I made. It's programmed in Arduino via the STM32 library for Arduino. Original, the STM32L053 um, isn't uh, supported 100% because in this version is a TFOP48 and the bigger brother from it is just supported, but it works without any modifications. So you can use the original STM32 library for Arduino to program this chip via Arduino. And here you can now see I managed to get the e-ink display to work with the U8G2 library and also the ampere meter is working. And Right now it is measuring the chip itself, so the L053 and I could also, here you can see the jumper to turn the measurements on or off and if I um, turn it off it will reboot the chip so because it doesn't have any power in this moment then it should show about 0 nano ampere because it doesn't measure anything as you can see now and the ampere meter is very precise so even if I just touch the pin for the measurement it should show some results right here so because I'm touching one GPIO and the nanometer uh, the ampere meter itself it shows that something is used and this pin can now be used for any external device up to 100 milliampere I have one VLE um, token here it's a microchip RN4020 this is used in some McDonald's um, placeholders if you order your food you will get a number uh, so a table stand I would call it and you can be located by this 
Bluetooth tech. Yeah, don't ask where I got it from. I will now connect the Bluetooth tech to GND on one side and to the um, three pin header like this on the other side. And now it will show how much current the uh, Bluetooth tech is using. And this is very precise. I measured it with, with my own multimeter. Just for comparison, I now have these blue pill board here. It's an STM32F103. They are very cheap, just to show you some current measurements with this. It should draw around 31 milliampere. And I connect it now. As you can see, it has power. Yeah, and it's something around that. It depends on what it do. It is now stuck in some error. So maybe that's the reason it's a little bit more. I think it will try or, or it is trying to connect to an E squared C device, but doesn't found it. This was it for this small video about the discovery board and you can maybe find them for around 16 bucks on eBay or somewhere else. I found mine on eBay for 13 euro delivered and it's very uh, big hardware for that price and yeah they made a nice little PCB for that money. Okay, see you next time.